Judge rules CDC eviction moratorium unconstitutional. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rechach Wadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Yahweh is the heavenly father's true name in ancient Hebrew, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, the savior and redeemer of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Um, this is an article that just came out a couple, maybe about two or three hours ago. Actually, about an hour ago. Yeah, 648. Um, judge rules CDC eviction moratorium unconstitutional. So, you know, what does that mean? That means now, okay, these um, landlords that haven't been getting paid since... Uh, I believe it was September, uh, maybe even before that, um, they're now, and, we're, and they weren't able to evict their uh, tenants because there was a um, CDC uh, law passed that um, it, would be, it would be criminal to evict tenants that were not, that was not uh, paying rent. <clears throat> so a lot of people were, um, you know, living in these apartments or living, living in these um, houses that were being rented out without paying and uh, the landlords couldn't do anything about it but now that this has been deemed unconstitutional what you're going to start seeing is a lot of people you know being um evicted all right homelessness is about to skyrocket because the only thing that was keeping these people from not being um you know homeless was the fact that the landlords couldn't evict them it would be it was a it would be a criminal penalty if they did so. So um, let's get to this article real quick. It says a federal judge in Texas ruled on Thursday that an order from the seed centers centers of disease control and prevention temporarily halting evictions amid the pandemic is unconstitutional. In a 21 page ruling, which I you know briefly skimmed over it, says uh, U.S. District Judge John Barker sided with a group of landlords and the property managers who alleged in a lawsuit that the CDC's eviction moratorium exceeded the federal government's constitutional authority. Although the COVID-19 pandemic persists, so does the Constitution, Barker, a Trump appointee, wrote. The CDC order initially issued by former President Trump in September generally made it a crime for property owners to evict tenants who were unable to pay rent and had no options for affordable housing. Now, you see that, uh, you know, uh, unemployment rate is still at a all time high. All right. A lot of people have been just getting by on their unemployment checks and they've been getting by with with the uh, option of not paying their rent. Right. So now what happens when, you know, they don't have that option anymore? All right. And, and not only do they not have this option of not paying rent, but a lot of people are, you know, back owed on rent. OK, uh, um, I forgot the exact number, but I was watching, you know, a couple of videos by these, uh, you know, uh, economic um, YouTubers, which it was saying that people are collectively, you know, Americans are collectively back owed rent, you know, millions of dollars. So now that this is deemed unconstitutional meaning that now these landlords can go up to these different tenants, okay, tell them that you got 30 days to pay all your rent or I'm going to have to evict you, what is going to happen then? All right? Once again, hey, and, and you know, the, uh, it's been said that, you know, homelessness was going to be at an all-time high. You know, um, uh, Biden came out, you know, last year and said what? This is going to be a dark winter, Okay. And we are in still in the midst of winter. So we are seeing all these things uh, are coming down the pipeline, man. A lot of people, you know, had comfortability in the fact that they weren't, they didn't have to pay their rent. You know, they was getting those checks. Uh, they might have lost their jobs. Okay. Because a lot of, uh, especially Jake, you know, it's always, you know, things happen and it's always happening worse to you Israelites, man. So a lot of Israelites that were, you know, living with uh in these apartments that weren't paying their rent because they couldn't afford it because they lost their job because a lot of jakes 
a lot of Israelites, they worked in the service and hospitality sector, which is what got hit the hardest by the pandemic. Okay, now they're going to be forced to have to leave their homes because there is no moratorium, uh, you know, order where landlords have to abide by now. It says those protections were extended by Congress and later under President Biden to last through March. And you no know, March is next week. But now you see how this all lines up at the same time. Okay, that he he pushed it back to March, but now this uh, court order comes out and say that it's unconstitutional. So now Biden can't even extend this anymore because it's deemed uh, unconstitutional for him to extend it. It says, um, but Thursday's decision, Barker ruled that Congress lacked the constitutional authority to grant CDC the power to halt evictions nationwide. So there's got to be a nationwide evictions, man. All right. All time unprecedented amount of evictions that are that are about to take place. You know, and, and what does that cause, man? That causes high levels of anxiety. These are people that is not only themselves, but they got family. All right, they got children that they gotta, you know, attend to. So what do you what do you think the mindset people are gonna be in, in this time, man? It's gonna be what? Dog eat dog, eat uh, kill or be killed. It says instead the agency's order threatened to encroach on landlords' rights under state law. Conservative groups involved in the litigation held the decision. The court's order today's holding today holdings holding the CDC interference with private property rights under the veil of COVID-19 serves as notice to the to the Biden administration that the Constitution limits government power, said Kimberly uh, Herman, a law a lawyer with Southern Southeastern Legal Foundation, one of the groups that represented the plaintiffs. Now they can understand that they can spin this you know various different ways. Because um, you know, they're trying to push towards this, uh, uh, you know, great reset where one of the uh, um, goals is to what to not for for there be no such thing as private owned, uh, you know, uh, uh, property, private owned land, private owned businesses. So it says, what you will own nothing and you will love it. That's, you know, that's one of the um, one of the uh, mantras of the, the uh, World Economic Forum, the Great Reset. You will own nothing and you will love it. All right. Everything will be rented out unto you. Now, who's going to oh, if nobody owns anything, but it's stuff, stuff is going to be rented out to you. Who's going to own it? Well, the government is going to own it. OK, the government is going to own, uh, you know, these these uh, these apartments, these uh, houses. Everything is going to be owned, operated and ran by the government. OK, it says attorneys for the Justice Department who defended the federal government and the case did not immediately respond for the request. Legal experts expect the case to be appealed to the Texas-based U.S. Courts of Appeals for the Fifth Circus. So as of right now, it's unconstitutional, which gives landlords the, the go, all right, the, free, the freedom to ev start evicting these tenants that have not been paying. Now, um, before I seen this, I came across this uh, quick video right here. Well, I'm not going to play the whole thing, just the uh, first couple parts. It says no rent equals no heat. Are landlords punishing no payers, uh, no pay renters? So let's listen to this a little bit of this first part of this clip. No rent, no heat. Could this be possible, everybody? It is Thursday, February 25th, 2021. Now, it appears that some landlords may be using utilities, in this case heat, to try to maybe punish or try to influence their tenants into paying rent. Now, of course, if you ask the landlords, they're just going to say, well, we can't turn on the heat because we can't afford it because we're not getting rent, right? So we told you this was going to turn into a big mess, and we talked about the whole cancel rent movement, and it's a big movement. I mean, nationwide in different cities, there's activist groups trying to get legislation passed where rent just gets canceled. The problem is, and we've talked about this, it turns into a big mess. It's not just a simple is canceling the rent. Why? Because the owners of these buildings and apartments and homes, they have overhead. They have costs. In some cases, especially in multi-unit complexes and apartment buildings, the landlord is responsible for the heat and the utilities. So if they're not getting rent, in many cases, they won't be able to afford the utilities for their tenants. Now, other times it's the tenant's fault and they're not the one, they're the ones not paying it. So you can't blame that on the landlord. 
But in some cases, there are tenants, and we're going to show you a few examples, that are saying that the landlord is not providing heat. Uh, CBSlocal.com out of Boston. Chicago man says he's been without heat for 13 days. His home is 28 degrees. He says, quote, no one should have to live this Dark way. Dark winter. You can see him walking through his home with a winter jacket on there. That's Chicago. It's obviously freezing right now. MLive.com. Flint condemns Sunset Village apartments after finding residents had no heat or water. All right, Michigan also freezing right now. WKBW.com. Landlord suffering from lack of rent payments. So it's not just the utilities. We also have landlords that have to call their lenders and beg for forgiveness and try to hold off on foreclosure because no rent equals no mortgage payment in some cases. So you see this is a huge, huge mess. Now, the controversy comes up where some of these tenants, these renters, are saying the landlord does have the money to pay the utilities. And in these some cases, the renters feel like the landlord is just trying to punish them by not turning on their heat. So, yeah, I'll stop it right there, man. So you can see, you know, the, the, the brewing of the tensions rising, okay? Now, once these... Uh, landlords now have to go because of this, um, you know, because it was deemed unconstitutional for uh, this moratorium to uh, withhold evictions. Now these tenants can have to go and actually evict these. Um, uh, uh, so like, you now these landlords can have to go and actually evict these tenants. Now, what you know, you know, what do you think? You know, what what could transpire from this type of um, you know condition or this these type of uh, interactions, man? It's you can already foretell, all right, that it's going to be a lot of uh, 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 anger between the two parties. You see, the, the scriptures talks about how it's going to be, uh, um, you know, uh, Egyptian versus against Egyptian. All right, I mean, and when money is involved, you know, as the saying goes, <laughs> money make a, a, a person act funny. Okay, when money is involved, you know, your your livelihood, your home, all right, your your uh, comfortability. People are going to lose it, man. People are going to straight lose, and especially when it's in, you, you in, we're in the dead of, of winter, okay. And the scriptures Yahweh Shai talked about, you know, uh, pray that your flight not be in the winter. Let me get that. You know, hey, the Lord didn't say that for no reason, man. Okay, He didn't say He didn't say that for no reason, and we're we're seeing clearly that this is um, about to become a major major problem in Babylon. All right, this is Matthew chapter 24, verses um, 18, 19. It says, And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Yeah, because if you get, you you know, you lost your job, whatever, and you was not, you you have to pay your rent for the last six, seven, eight months. And now all of a sudden, just like that, it's the winter time. And now your your uh, landlord can evict you because you you haven't been paying rent and you can't pay rent. And now you got children, especially if you got newborns, you know, young children that you have to attend to, you get put out of your house. And it's not going to be no pity. All right. There's not going to be no pity because at the end of the day, the bottom, the bottom line is, the, is that green, man, is that green back. Okay. So that's why the Lord said, woe unto you that are with child and that give suck in those days. It's going to be hard, very hard for people that are with children, especially infants, you know, toddlers to survive during a winter with no house or with no uh, uh, heat. Verse 20 says, but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. And you know what's real spiritual about this is today is the Sabbath. All right. Sundown today is the Sabbath. And this and this just, uh, you know, this article just came out about um, it was deemed unconstitutional to do so. OK, so we're in the winter. And today is the Sabbath. It's, today is the Shabbat. So right now, you know, uh, these landlords, they've been waiting. All right. They've been waiting to, to, to get their get their money. They've been waiting to, to be able to evict. All right. These tenants that have not been paying. And that's what's about to come down the pipeline, man. You know, uh, March and March is the, um, the month of the Passover, the end of March. So we're seeing a lot of things. Uh, a lot of prophecies are coming to fruition, man. A lot of hell is about to be about to is about to uh, you know happen in this land, especially you know uh, to in that Jacob's trouble. Verse twenty one it says, "For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world 
to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Yeah, because back in the ancient world, there was no such thing as, you know, you got to pay rent to somebody else. You owned your own land. You owned your own property. You know, it was passed down from, you know, your parents or your foreparents or you bought, you know, a land and you didn't have to pay rent to somebody. OK, there was never a, a time period where you had to pay rent, you know, even in the, in the inception of uh, of America. OK, Babylon. OK, there was no such thing as you having to pay rent to, uh, um, you know, for your house. You bought the land and you built on that land and that land was yours and you passed it down throughout your your uh, generation to your, your children. OK, but now we're entering into a time where people don't have that, you know, um, they don't have that uh, uh, luxury. So they're at the they're at the mercy of a landlord. They're at the mercy of somebody else. And if this person owns this property and you're not, you know, paying paying them because you can't, because you lost your job, which you still, like I said before, you still have unemployment at an all time high. Okay. What are you gonna do, man? You know, and Jake don't don't own don't own shit. Okay. And a lot of Israelites they they live in small apartments, so they, it's not like they could just have all their family members just up in uh, uh, you know one one apartment. And a lot of Israelites they don't even get along with their family members. So you know we're coming into a time where if hey like I said man if, if the Lord is not on your side, you are not going to be able to survive, man. Straight up and down. This is why you gotta. This is why this this the Lord is going to make it known why being in His truth is so precious, man. Being being a faithful believer in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is so necessary, okay? Because he's going to take care of his elect. He has care for his elect, but the rest, the rejects, you're not going. You're not going to be able to survive these things, man. It's going to be straight purity hell, okay? Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse um, start at uh, eighteen. It says uh, for because of their pride. Actually, let me get this. You know, this is. I've been me meditating on the scripture for like the past two or three months, man. Right here, Second Ezra 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And it's going to be a miserable thing till you get that pink slip and you've been told you got two weeks, you got a week to, to, to uh, evacuate, to leave the, the premises, okay? And then they can call in the... the um, the, the local police to enforce, you know, to enforce you out of there. And you can't pull up no moratorium because it's going to, that's not, that that hell was no weight right now, man. Okay. And then, and like I said, we in a dead men, dead of winter. You just had those, those uh, storms that just hit Texas, you know, Jersey over here where it's been snoring for the past three weeks. Okay. So things are not looking up, man. You trying to, you thinking that uh, 2021 was going to be better. You's going to, you know, be a, a, easier nah it's only getting worse so hey man for the ones that are that are you know watching believing the, the faithful you know understand the times that we're in okay seeing the things seeing the times you know uh, uh get your house in order all right get yourself you know get your mind you know right be sober because we are consistent we are literally in the times at the end man all right and the lord said that these things were going to come to pass and we are clearly Watching and witnessing these things, man. So, you know, with that, Lord willing, this is edifying unto the elect. Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakudash. Till next time, Shalom.